Thank you for watching another video. My name is Aaron and you're watching Three Tails RV. Today we're going to do a follow-up video on how we painted the stripes in our RV and what it looks like after one year. So stay tuned. Hi and welcome back. Lori and I are glad to have you here with us today. If this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe and become a member of our growing community. So let's get started with today's topic. If you haven't, check out this video right here where we show you and demonstrate to you how we painted the vinyl on the RV. So go ahead and check that out. There'll be a card up above and there'll be another link in the description below. In one of our recent videos, we painted the stripes in our RV. And today we're gonna to answer a few of the questions that were in the comment section of that video. And we're also going to do a review of paint looks like on the RV after one year. Grammy's Road Trekking asks, awesome video, Aaron, what type of paint did you use? Is it the kind that you use an automotive paint or is it a spray outdoor furniture? The type of paint we used is a Krylon color match. It is used for wood, plastics, and more. Dries in about 10 minutes. Indoor, outdoor use. No runs, no hits, no errors. This is uh, what we used. And the reason why we use this because it's good for plastics and it bonds to the plastic fusion of the the decals themselves so if you notice this particular color was used on the base one of the base colors right down here and it comes in a variety of different colors so hopefully that answers your question chapman electronics asks do you have to remove the decals first and then you can paint over the top can you remove the stripes on your RV and then paint over the top of them? I really don't know because I haven't tried that with this particular application. I would seem to think so because there was a couple spots where the decals had come off and I painted right over the top and of the fiberglass and it seems to be holding up fine. But for your application, I would go ahead and recommend doing a test area and seeing how that works for your particular RV. And Chapman Electronics, thank you for your service. It's good to see another shipmate watching these videos. I really appreciate uh, all of our members of the armed forces, past, present, and future. Thank you so much. Linda Clooney asked, do you need to do this in the shade or under certain temperature? You need to read the directions on the back of the can that is provided, that will provide you with that information. I did it in the early spring during cooler temperatures between 65 and 70 degrees and in the shade. So again, I would go back and take a look at what the manufacturer says on the paint itself. Barry says he enjoyed the information about on the video but still confused about the process. So if you could come to Yuma in the next few months and do our 35 foot fifth wheel, I would properly understand how to, you, how to do this once you were done. Signed, slow learner. Good try, man. I would love to fly down to Yuma and help you with your RV, but uh, that's why I put out the video, so that you could understand it a little better. It's not hard of an application. I get what you're trying to do, and I appreciate that, but that's something you're gonna have to do for yourself. AKPD1 says, on a side note, I would go to an auto body parts store and purchase some wax and grease remover to clean the decals prior to painting. Silicone paint do not work well together. Again, that is why we use the T TSP. The TSP is a degreaser and it is also a cleaner that will help to remove any dirt and debris on the stripes itself. And that's what we used and what I recommend that you use if you're gonna do this particular application. So yes, we did use a degreaser. Uh, Rick L, which would it be a good idea to lightly sand or scuff the vinyl on a scotch pad to increase adhesion? With the way that the paint is, and nowadays the uh, it, it it bonds straight to the plastic, which is what the vinyl is made out of in your RV. So uh, you can go ahead and do that extra step. That's going to take you an extra hour or so per per color to do each side. And if that's what you want to do, then by all means, go ahead and give it a try. I'd love to see your results, so go ahead and leave that in the comment section below if that did help or what your outcomes were. So go ahead and please leave us a, a comment in the description so that uh, you can help out others that are wanting to do the same process to their, to their RV. 
and thank you for the question. Four wing views. Uh, ask. He thoroughly enjoyed the idea. He owns a 2002 Fleetwood and has the same issues. How do you fill the cracks with the decals? And by adding multiple layers of paint. We did four layers of, of paint on each stripe that will help to fill in the cracks and help to get eliminate any of the gaps or imperfections that may be on the stripes themselves. So hopefully that answered your question. One of the most popular questions is, is how is the paint holding up? As you can see here, they're still pretty smooth. There's no cracking, no fading. And it is actually held up really well. We've traveled probably in excess of uh, probably five to 8,000 miles, anywhere in that range. And it's still holding up really well. Let me take you over to the other side so we can take a look at that, but I'll give you a quick second. You can look at the vinyl all the way down the coach. So here's the other side, and it looks just as pristine as the day we put it on there. After it was on there for a week, we went ahead and put some wax over the top of it, so it gives it, seals it all in there, and it makes it, keeps it looking fresh and new. But this is actually what it looks like. It hasn't changed anything. I haven't washed it. I haven't done anything special to it. You can see the shine that's on there and how clean and crisp that the lines are, and that was just using the rattle cans. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, there are a couple spots that need to be touched up, but that's just simply taping off around it and spraying it again, and then sealing it back in with some more wax. So overall, we're really impressed with how well it came, how the vinyl came out in our RV. Would we do it again? Definitely, we would definitely go ahead and do this again if we have an older coach. And like I keep saying, make sure that you put a layer of wax over the top of it, because it helps to seal it in and helps to prevent it from fading. If you have any other questions about this video, go ahead and put those in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos just like this one, check out this video right here, where we help you do just that. And remember, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride, and we'll see you on our next video.